O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ bless. Lord, have mercy. Peace be to all of you. The morning prayers from the Jordanville Prayer Book. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, for the sake of thy prayers of thy most pure Mother, and of all the saints, have mercy on us. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from all our impurities and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Loxa patri ke aiu ke agiu plevmati, ke nin ke aiu ke istusionos tani onon amin. Our Father who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, Lord, not into temptations, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before Thee, O Good One, and the angelic hymn Thee, we cry aloud to Thee, O Mighty One. Holy, holy, holy art Thou, O God. Through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Loxa patrike ayuke agio plebmati. From bed and sleep Thou hast raised me up, O Lord. Enlighten my mind and my heart and open my lips that I may hear him, Thee, O Most Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art Thou, O God. 
through the Theotokos have mercy on us. And in Kiai Kesh to Sionos Doni Hogon, Amin. Suddenly the judge shall come and the deeds of each shall be laid bare. But with fear do we cry at midnight, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos have mercy on us. As I arise from sleep, I thank thee, most holy Trinity, for through thy great goodness and patience thou wast not angry with me, an idler and a sinner. Nor hast thou destroyed me with mine iniquities, but has shown thy usual love for mankind. And when I was prostrate in despair, thou hast raised me up to keep the morning watch and glorify thy power. And now enlighten my mind's eye and open my mouth that I may meditate on thy words and understand thy commandments and do thy will, and him thee in heartfelt confession, and sing praises to thine all holy name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blot out all my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, Cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judge. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and the secret things of thy wisdom, as thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. And I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness, O Lord. Thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble. God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate to the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified also for us, and our Pontius Pilate suffered and was buried, and arose again on the third day, according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again in glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceeded from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. 
O God, cleanse me a sinner, for I have never done anything good in thy sight, but deliver me from the evil one, and let thy will be done in me, that I may open mine unworthy mouth without condemnation, and praise thine O holy name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, I offer unto thee, O Savior, the midnight hymn, and falling down, I cry unto thee, Grant me not to fall asleep in the death of sin, but have compassion upon me, O thou who was voluntarily crucified, and hasten to raise me, who am reclining in idleness, and save me in prayer and intercession, and after the night's sleep, shine upon me a sinless day, O Christ our God, and save me. Amen. God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. A reading is taken from the Holy Epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 15 starting at verse 1 to verse 12. Wisdom, let us attend. Brethren, now I am reminding you, brothers, of the gospel I preach to you, which you indeed received, and in which you also stand. Through it you are also being saved. If you hold fast, to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain, for I handle on you to you as the first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Caiaphas, then to the twelve, to Cephas, and then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than five hundred brothers at once, most of whom are still living. Through some, though some have fallen asleep, after that he had appeared to James, then to all the apostles, last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. For I am the least of the apostles, not fit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace to me has not been ineffective. Indeed, I have toiled harder than all of them. Not I, however, but the grace of God that is with me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach and so you believe. This is the epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Doxa Patrike, ayuke agi pneumati keninke ayike Jesus, yonos ton yonon amin. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God is the Lord, and he hath 
revealed himself unto us. Blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Sophia, wisdom, let us attend. Let us hear the Holy Gospel, the Gospel according to St. John the evangelist. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. St. John's Gospel, chapter 13. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God. He arose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, Are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answering and saith to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter saith to him, Will you, you will never wash my feet? Jesus answereth him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus saith to him, Whoever has been bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he saith, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet, and put his garments back on, and reclined at the table, again he saith to them, Do you realize what I have done for you. You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you 
a model to follow, so that I have done for you, you should also do. Amen. This is the Holy Gospel of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory to the O Lord, glory to you. Peace be to all the brethren. Having risen from sleep, I hasten to the O Master, lover of mankind, and by thy loving kindness I strive to do thy work, and I pray to thee, help me at all times in everything, and deliver me from every worldly evil thing, and every impulse of the devil, and save me and lead me into thine eternal kingdom. For thou art my creator, and the giver and provider of everything good, and in thee is all my hope, and unto thee I send a glory, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all of you. Through the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ and the prayers of our patron saints and guardian angels and all the saints on the old calendar of this day in holy orthodoxy, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, give the blessing. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peace be to thee, the brethren.